Hey, thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed your week uh, challenge and encouraged through Matthew chapter 5. I encourage you to read through Matthew chapter five from beginning to end. Um, it's soak it up Saturday a day. You know, if you have a little bit extra time to soak up his words, you know, we've been uh, going through different sections of Matthew chapter five all week long and where Jesus is sitting with his disciples and he's really diving into the word of God and diving into the, the Old Testament law and saying, hey, you've heard it said this way, but I say this. Um, it's, you know, and, and it refers to uh, a lack of justifying our actions because that's what we have a tendency to do. And Jesus gets right to the heart of the matter here. He says, hey, if you if you have anger, it's like you've murdered. If you looked at somebody lustfully, it's like you physically had an affair with them. I mean, so he's saying that he's like, um, you know, let's 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 look. Let's get to the heart issue right here. There's deeper roots uh, to what you do and why you do what you do. And so he's really wanting us to get to the heart of the matter here rather than justifying our actions. And and that's uh, what he's referring to as well when, he, when he, we get into uh, this section here on divorce. And now I know that people have different stances on divorce, uh, divorce and remarriage and, and the reasons why you can divorce. And, and we can debate all day on this. I'm just going to stick to this uh, passage of scripture and understanding the context of what Jesus is saying. Okay, there's so many layers uh, to this. Uh, we don't have the time to get into it. But if you do have any questions, uh, email me at nabil at shrewsburyassembly.org. You can email my wife, Sarah, with an H at shrewsburyassembly.org. If you have any questions, you can you can call the church office. You can email us. If you're in the area, we'd love to sit down with you. Um, if you have any marriage uh, issues uh, or problems, uh, we encourage you to seek help. You know, God has created us to be in community and to build each other up. And here's the thing. Let's face it. I mean, marriage is tough. A relationship is tough. It takes time. It takes it takes effort. It takes intentionality. It takes sacrifice. And um, and if we are just relying on our own effort and not God's, uh, it's going to be a, a, a not so pleasant experience. And so let's again. So that's that's that. Let's go into now the context of this scripture here in Matthew chapter five, starting in verse thirty one and thirty two says this. It has been said. Anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality makes her the victim of adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Okay, so again, he's refer he goes into a, a deeper issue here. What's he referring to? He's referring to Moses. He's referring to, you know, what they did uh, back in when the law of Moses. And so, so Moses... Um, put this decree out there and said, hey, if you're going to divorce your wife, they have to have a certificate. And why was that important? Because that proves that she was a widow, that proves that she uh, that she was single and that she was ready to, to, to remarry. It was crucial. It was it was so important for a woman to be connected to a man to be connected uh, in a marriage relationship. We see that in the book of Ruth, where Boaz takes uh, Ruth. Um, when after her husband passes, it was so crucial and so beneficial when how, the, the, the lay of the land and how it was run and, and where women were at, uh, women needed to have that protection, that provision of a husband. And so it was important to have that certificate. So then now he's referring to now this, um, because, um, what people had a tendency to do was just give her certificate. Uh, if, if, uh, and I, well, obviously I don't know because I was not living back then. I didn't know, uh, the people, but I, 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 you know, as I'm reading this and I'm understanding what Jesus is saying is that, that these men were just giving these certificates to, to, to their wives and they just, just get, just get out of here. Hey, hey, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the, the, you know, lawful thing. You have a certificate and Jesus is going here. Okay. Here. That's not the right thing to do. See, God created us when we make that commitment, when we make that that marriage covenant, it it, it should be lifelong. These 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 vows, these commitments should be lifelong. I understand 
the, the, all these other circumstances and things like that. Um, and we, he's referring to for this scenario here as far as, um, a failure to commit to that vow. And if, if somebody fails to commit to that vow, you have that right to divorce that person. Okay. So again, there's so many little nuances within that aspect of, of divorce, remarriage, um, why you should divorce somebody. Again, I, through this daily dose, I, I really don't have the time. And especially each scenario is a little bit different, but is, is divorce, uh, God honoring? And no, it's, it's not God honoring. God does, God never designed a marriage to come together and then be separated. So, so that is, that's like the foundation, but I understand some other uh, extenuating circumstances. And Jesus is referring to that. One of the extenuating circumstances is adultery, is uh, infidelity, is, you know, somebody who, who goes against the vows that they first committed. So again, that is just one aspect of it. Again, if you have any issues, um, my prayer is that you seek help. My prayer is that you find some people in your life, uh, sit down with a counselor, sit down with a therapist. Again, there's some deep rooted issues that lead to the point of divorce. And so um, God would rather have you guys reconcile um, rather than separate. And so if that's uh, if that's possible, again, both parties need to come together and be on the same page and be able to to move forward on that. So again, all these little nuances. So, but here's the thing I'm praying, I'm praying for you, praying for your marriage, praying for your family, because I understand the struggles of it. I'm, I'm married myself. I have two kids. And again, it takes time, effort, intentionality, and sacrifice. And so let's choose to do that. And let's choose to seek God for his help and wisdom and provision, provision in his eyes so that we, we can uh, show love uh, to our family, to our husband, to our wives, and to our kids. I want to encourage you uh, to uh, to join us in person tomorrow uh, morning, 10, 15 a.m. at Shrewsbury Assembly, and then we'll be back on Monday for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.